Morning chaps, hope you had a cracking Christmas. I'm here at work today, which is the 27th. Just to do an intro for this, I was going to be brewing over this interim Christmas to New Year period, but I don't know if you can hear in the background. We've got the roofers in, finally fixing the leaks on the roof. So what I'm going to do is put together a montage of the best bits of the year for your enjoyment of course. Now what it was going to be initially was just one big video at the end of 2018 but there's far too many good bits in the year for that so what I've decided to do is over the next few days do several releases each one of them featuring a couple of months chronologically so grab yourself a beverage and uh, get ready to take in the new year by looking back at what we've actually achieved in 2018 where we've come from and where we freaking are now and thanks everybody out there for your support. Enjoy. exciting thing on YouTube but it's going to be a chronological uh, documentation of everything that I'm going to be doing at least for January 2018 so my intentions are to capture everything that I'm doing whether it's putting a shelf up at home or learning to TIG weld, for instance. Right, I'm gonna get my run in. I've come out to a little village called Wyston. Come back in half an hour, mate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Roll VT. It's such a giveaway.
probably not going to get to see this view very often. It's a unique uh, position. So you can see the proximity of the houses at the back. This is my unit and this one here is next door. So that belongs to another chap. And that's my office building. That back section just there is the office building. So here she is folks. The Safmig 360 BLS. I find the best way to examine high voltage electrical equipment is with a beer in your hand. Club Tropicana drinks are free. Your belt on, buddy? Yep. Oh yeah. time making this workbench we're going to take the table saw and we're going to insert it into the bench itself it's a lot better than the previous table I think it's this pump what's broken is the connector at the bottom Just vacked out all of the dust from this bandsaw. You could say it was a bit of a waste of time going to see tanks and vessels. Nearly £2,000 they wanted for a 1400 litre open top tank and nearly £1,900 plus that for the same size but one with a manway in the top. No way, not happening. So I'm going to get some angle iron, cut up some legs and put together a welding table. And slide it forwards. Ha <laughs> ha. So I'm not sure what's going on. I'm guessing that the 221 is to do the work, the 527 is to supply the materials, and the 748 is the total price. But yeah, not a great thing to wake up to in the morning. So Again, back to the drawing board. I need to find somebody who can A, supply with stainless steel, like give me reasonable and open quotes, and then I need to find someone who's gonna roll it. And I need someone who's gonna to reply to her emails because, I mean granted these guys might be busy, but they're a bit shit.
sure from that clip you can see exactly what I'm thinking. So, buy slip rollers, roll steel, sell slip rollers. So just quickly I thought I'd reflect again on the fact that finding somebody to fabricate these steel cylinders for me is much more difficult than I anticipated. Look what we've got. Holy smokes, folks. She made it in one freaking piece. Hardened steel, four foot rollers, five foot. Five foot, aren't they still? They're 50 inch. 50 inches. Three phase, big fuck off motor. Forward reverse. That's the uh, back roller wheel. That is unbelievably heavy. I mean, here's my foot for scale. So midway through the disassembly, we've got the big shaft out there with the gears on. We've got the other roller out and the motor and then I noticed on this uh, pulley, this gear, there's a split on two of these. all the sprocket work <laughs> yeah that is the size of it next to my head it's crazy isn't it uh, so that's the one I've just welded that spins and obviously drives the other two gears and then that top roller comes across here and that drives the bottom roller from this side with these two these two big uh, mother foes forward and then we've got the start and stop button here. Make sure everything's clear. And there we have it. So she's running forwards. Early morning, I am shooting down to the unit because the steel delivery man has jumped the gun and he's got there before I have. So this is 1,300 quid worth of steel, folks. We've got some big pipe there for legs, some one inch uh, hygienic for outlets and tin, some flat bar to help make a cooling jacket, which might not be going on straight away, but it was cheap enough, that bit. And then over here, we've got the sheets of two by one, which are gonna form the base and the lid. And then behind, we have the big sheets of 12.50 by two and a half meters. And they're gonna form the tank, so you can get a feel for how tall the tanks are going to be, can't you, straight away. I've just put some normal rope up for the emergency brake. Reset the machine. So we're gonna give it a quick roll. Face value, she looks like a cylinder. Couple of issues that we've had. One is, it overbends slightly on the corners if I look from this angle. You see that? So now we're pinched tight on there. I will lift this roller, take this roller back down and allow the steel to come through and we'll roll one way and then back again. Hopefully put in the right. The right curve on to her. That was one roll. What we got? We, see, we seem to be just getting this belly on the tank, look. You see that little belly? Because it tends to over roll the top corners, the top and bottom corners. But I think the, the weld will get rid of that once we tack up. 12.31 12.31 folks, it's dinner time 
We got here at what? Half ten or eleven? Half ten. Half ten. One, two, three, four, five. What do you think? We're officially now a fabrication shop. <laughs> Woohoo! First one tacked up. So I've been very, very generous with the tacks. Watch that camera. Quick, quick! Well, I never expected that. to get it onto the roller again and I think if you look at that for cylindrical profile this side's pretty good too so I'm chuffed I'm chuffed with it the fact that I put an extra five amps on is probably why I had that blowout I wasn't moving fast enough well we're back at the unit again folks you know, coming down here to me sometimes feels like Groundhog Day. You never quite know what project we're going to be working on when we get here. It could be something as simple as fixing one of the power tools that I've got. Yeah, or putting together this badass slip roller. Yeah, or getting a compressor, 100 litres, for less than 100 quid. 